Hello, this is Benjamin Berkeley of the Empowerment Center. Welcome to Moment of Settlement with Benjamin Berkeley. This is the day of testimony for you. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. You will see the hand of God at work in your life. Things will work for you. Everything working against you will begin to work to your favor. As you begin the journey of this new month and prophesy new things, you will enjoy ease, you will enjoy peace, you will make progress, you will be lifted, help will come for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not be limited. Whatever you touch will work. I speak blessings over you in this month. You will go from strength to strength, from glory to glory. Whatever has pulled you down before will make room for you to go higher. You will go up. You will go onward. You will go forward. You will gain new grounds in the name of Jesus. This month, things will work for you. Things will work with you. It will work to your advantage. The month will cooperate with you. In the name of Jesus, whatever is designed to stop you will stop them. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. And everybody that believes say loud, amen. Praise God, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to Moment of Settlement with Benjamin Beckley. Now, Moment of Settlement is a prophetic daily prayer podcast that is designed to empower you and position you for the best of the day every day is loaded every day has benefit and profit but you must be positioned and be empowered for you to be able to take hold of what the day have to offer i really want to appreciate every one of you for your patience with me i know for like uh, more than about six months or so i've not been on it's been a lot of work it's been busy but you know i've been able to work things out and god is helping us so we are back we are back and we are fully fully back so don't miss any broadcast any day tell your friends tell your family tell your neighbors and make sure you are sharing this we need to create and we need to push the things of god and we need to position people for prayer we need to ensure that on daily basis somebody is being inspired somebody is being uh, empowered through this um, daily podcast so make sure you are sharing this with them and let them also be blessed as they listen if you are what listening to me anywhere in the world you are welcome i appreciate you share this with somebody tell them to be part of um, you know this daily prayer podcast and the lord will surely bless you as you do so in jesus name now today we are going to be starting a series of prayer i'm going to be praying from the book of kings all through this month and we'll see how god can help us so today we are starting the book of first kings chapter number one my prayer chart for you today is from the book of first kings chapter number one verse one to three. First kings chapter one verse one to three the Bible says, Now David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no eat. Hmm. Wherefore his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in her bosom, that my lord, my king, may get eat. Verse 3 is where I'm going very importantly. So they sought for a fear damsel throughout that word is very important throughout all the coast of Israel and then they found Abishag a Shunammite and brought her to the king now listen to me when David was old you know uh, they, they, they tried to put clothes on him um, duvet and all manner of things but he couldn't he couldn't eat him all in other words he was still feeling cold he was old and cold the natural and the normal thing was that when they put a cloth on him or covered him up, he should generate heat, but that was not working for him. So there are situations we find ourselves in life that what is supposed to be working is not just working. Things that are supposed to be a common thing is not manifesting in our own life. That's number one prayer I want to pray for somebody. Now, why was it that when the, the clothes, the duvet, what makes others generate heat? was not bringing it to him this prayer is in two dimensions even from that verse one that number one what was working or what should work is not working for you number two is that what is working against others is not permitted to work against you therefore i have come to prophesy and to decree over you as you begin this journey in the name of jesus christ all through this month i prophesy in 
into your life that things will work for you we are things supposed to be working what's supposed to be easy that is not productive in your life god will work upon them in the name of jesus christ where you should get results that you have been attracting insult that tide is turning that face is over in the name of jesus christ of nazareth what has made it difficult for you and hard for you to get things that people get done easily done today that thing is destroyed over your life this month you will find things easy hardship is suspended in the name of jesus christ of nazareth if you believe come on say amen louder listen so there are times in life that what is negatively impacting people will not work in our life because you are exempted you are exempted you are exempted this is a prayer of exemption of difference in the name of jesus you will not die like others die what affect other people negatively will not affect you what tampers with their star will not tamper with your star you are too exempted to be dismantled you are too exempted to be frustrated in the name of jesus christ say that with me very boldly say i am too exempted to be defeated i am too exempted to be frustrated glory to god now look at verse number three so they now decided to go the unconventional way that okay the cloth is not working for david we need to look for a virgin we need to look for a girl that maybe when the girl is close to the papa you know when the girl is close to david maybe it will come and then what caught my attention was not really the girl because eventually david didn't sleep with the lady david was too old to sleep with any girl so the lady was just she was a virgin she was a young girl was all with david taking care of him till he died and david generated it but what caught my attention in the place of prayer was the fact that they sought for one person all through their own land one they were looking they were busy looking and they were able to find the Bible says they sought all through, all through, all through the coast of Israel, everywhere, all through. They were looking for one person and they found her. I discovered, number one, she did not lobby for it. Number two, she did not labor for it. Number three, she did not create any awareness. She did not struggle to get it. They found her. There are things you have capacity to do. There are things you are good at, but they have not been able to find you. There is a young lady looking for a husband. You are of marriageable age, but no man is seeing you. Oh my God, there is somebody that is good with a great artistic work. You have creative mind, but no one is seeing what you can do. I have come to prophesy this month, they will find you. Good things will find you. Where you will matter, where what you carry will be needed they will find you she was not just found she was taken to the palace the greatest and the highest place in town was at that moment i am praying for somebody from high places they will send for you they will locate you they will find you the lord will bring you into relevance in this season in the name of jesus we don't know where this lady was but the bible says she was a shunammite she was she was one in one village one town one very small location but they found her there they went there to bring her i don't know where you have been eating god will bring you into relevance god will advertise you god will bring you into visibility that good thing inside of you will be showcased to the world you will not die with wonders inside of you you will demonstrate that which you carry in the precious name of jesus even today I speak over your head and over your life. Everyone watching, listening to me all over the globe, they will locate you with good things. They will locate you with good meals. That job you are looking for, they will find you with it. That marriage you are trusting God for, they will find you with it. In the name of Jesus Christ, that opportunity will open up for you. In the name of Jesus, this is your week, this is your day, this is your moment, this is your hour. If you believe and receive, come on, shout the loudest. Hey! Barus Kapaya Madu Baninga Labahaya. Glory to God. Amen. 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 I'm 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 telling you, somebody is being found out right now. A decision about you that is being made will be to your advantage. As they are making that decision, it will be to your favor. They have no option, but they will find you. They have no option, but they will look for you and they will set to you and you will be established in glory. Amen. Praise God. Now listen to me. Let me share this with you don't miss prayer this way don't miss any of this because something is going to be happening to you every day every day there is something loaded in moment of settlement because you have been settled right now i look forward to your testimony and i want you to send them in as god is 
doing this as you're experiencing the move of god you are seeing the differences that the prayer is making in your life let's give glory to god for all of them do me a favor share this with somebody spread the word and in case this was sent to you and you desire to be receiving this podcast every day directly on your own phone all you need to do is to send as an sms or as a whatsapp message the word register register just type register and send it to this phone number plus one nine seven two six three nine one seven six two the number again is plus one nine seven two six three nine one seven six two or you can go to our prayer blog or prayer website and then you see a button to click to join the the, the blog the prayer website is www dot prayerwonder.com prayerwonder.com just go there it uh, is a place i've loaded with different prayers but right there on the spot you will see the button to click to join and receive daily moment of settlement podcast the lord bless you and keep you now let me share this with you my watch chart for you today is a new series i'm going to be teaching all through this month on 31 things that you can do to change your life before the end of this year 31 things that you can do to change your life before the end of this year i need you to understand that change is not by chance change does not come by chance and change comes by intention if you want to see a positive change you must be intentional about it and one of the things that is constant in life is change you can change your life you can change things when we talk about change of life is in phases it, it also varies depending on individual situations circumstances and location but the good news is that something can change about you something can change for you something can change within you something can change around you when you take responsibility and apply the things that i'm going to be sharing with you number one i want to share with you today is appreciation one of the keys to changing your situation changing your life changing the things around you is appreciation appreciation is a key for manifestation god is always glad when he sees people appreciated i want you to begin to embrace appreciation as a lifestyle not only when you sense or you feel it let it be part and parcel of your life be appreciative to god for who he is be appreciative to god for the things he has done even if you have not done all number two be appreciative to people those that god is using for you even your partner your spouse your children everyone bringing joy to your heart and your life be appreciative to those that god has even used to bring you into where you are be appreciative it doesn't cost you anything to appreciate people you know a word of a word of mouth a gift a token of appreciation it goes a long way let me share with you some of the things appreciation will do number one it will open the heavens for more when you are appreciated is a sense of value and when you offer value you get something in return so be appreciated be appreciated let it be a lifestyle appreciate people appreciate god even many times appreciate yourself for not giving up when you should have given up or for not training the towel appreciate and then you will continue to appreciate you get that appreciate and then you will continue to appreciate the lord bless you this is your day enjoy the week enjoy today go with glad tidings and return with good news in jesus precious name amen amen and amen the lord bless you remember share this with somebody spread this abroad send it to everyone all over the globe and let God use you to be a blessing unto them. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't miss tomorrow. Till I come your way again tomorrow on this same podcast. I remain Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center. Be blessed. Amen.